Happy Sunday, peeps. I hope everybody's having a great day and a blessed weekend. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, My Two Cents with Chatty B. Um, what we're going to talk about today is just a few things that every man needs in his wardrobe. Um, it's just basic and essential things that a man should have. I've got a few items um, to share with you and show you um, just a few things you need to get started to have a decent wardrobe. Um, I want to start by saying thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I know everybody got busy lives, things that they're doing on the weekends. Um, so I appreciate you uh, spending this time with me. Honestly, I do. Um, let's get started by... Um, I would say this, um, and I've said this before, I am a formal model, um, and it's certain things and ways that a man should dress. Uh, the first thing you need to understand about a well-groomed person, besides the fact that he needs to, you know, shower, you know, um, these kind of things, you know, that little stuff right there, your hygiene part. Um, when you're dressing, you are supposed to start from the bottom up. When you dress and when you go to buy things, buy your shoes first. And then you dress around your shoes. You don't go buy your pants first and then say, oh man, I need a shirt here. What I'm going to wear, what kind of shoes? It starts with the shoes. I've got a few pair here just to show you different types of shoes. Um and different things of that nature um, to just give you some kind of a ideas on how this is supposed to be done. Hey, I ain't slight nobody. Everybody got their own style and I got mine. I'm just here to give you a few tips um, and just to uh, maybe show you some of the things that I've been doing that's been working for me. Um, the first thing I would say is that um, every man needs a nice pair of black shoes. Okay, black shoes, um, preferably tie up at first. Your first pair should be a nice tie up black pair of black shoes. Um, I have a multitude of stuff. Um, I got a pair of black shoes here with you. They're not tie ups, but I have many, many black shoes, many, many shoes. I have to take you on the expedition with my wardrobe. It's, it's kind of crazy. Um, but Black shoes are essential to any man's wardrobe. Simple. Simple black shoes. That's all you really need. These are monk straps. So when you see this, that's that's a monk strap. Um, but I would say your first prior would need to be um, some tie up black shoes and I've got something to show you. They're a little bit more formal than this, but this is a good start. Um, to be honest, a real, a real nice suited shoe should have a nice leather bottom. You got these shoes now that's out here. That's got these rubber bottoms on there and it makes the shoe look kind of cheap to me. And on top of that, um, they don't, they don't wear well. They just look like a casual shoe on a dressy, dressy shoe. So a leather bottom uh, is what you're really looking for. Um, these are like a, a kind of like leatherish kind of. Um, they're not. They got rubber soles on them, but they're still formal enough. So um, that's what you want to look for. A nice black basic shoe. To go with everything these can go with a suit these can go with some slacks these can go um with some jeans i probably wouldn't wear them with jeans me personally but you can wear these with jeans if you wanted to so nice black basic shoe another thing that um i think every man needs in his wardrobe is black sport coat 
may it be double breasted, single breasted, you know, double breasted is going to be more of a dressed up suit jacket compared to a, a single um, breasted kind of a um, jacket. So here I have one of mine here. It's single, but it's still a nice one, you know. Nice, simple black sport coat. Goes with anything. Jeans. Um, I wouldn't put corduroys on with it. Um, but a nice pair of jeans. Um, black slacks. Any kind of slacks would be good. But every man needs a, a black sport coat. That's essential to every man's wardrobe, in my opinion. Um, black slacks. You just need a pair of black slacks. Black slacks go with everything. Why I say black, for basic, black goes with everything. You can never have, you know, like me, I, my thing is I say I can never have too many um, black slacks and black shoes. Always going to be a use for it and a time for that. So black slacks are essential. A nice pair of jeans. Or essential. Not your jeans with your rips in them, you know, not your jeans um, with paint on them. I have all of that stuff too, but a nice pair of denim jeans. Uh, preferably something dark, maybe black or just dark raw denim. And I'll get into a video later about um, raw denim and savage and all this kind of different stuff. Um, Japanese made jeans and how jeans are made and the quality and all of this stuff later a later video for that stuff when I can um, kind of help you with that kind of stuff um basically black t-shirt every man man needs a black t-shirt t-shirt maybe a, a v-neck round neck or something like that a gray t-shirt preferably dark gray Put it on with a blazer, put it on with some jeans, put it on with some nice shoes. Bam, you're good. Those are essential color t-shirts that every man needs in his wardrobe. Um, you know, then you can also wear tan shoes. Every man needs a pair of tan shoes. I got some upstairs, but I didn't bring none down. I did bring some tan shoes down here, but they're a little bit different uh, style. And I'll show you later. But a nice pair of tan shoes or brown. You know, dark brown, tan. I love cognac, cognac color. I got more cognac color shoes than any other shoes I have. Even more cognac color shoes than black. Because I just think that's a nice, a nice color. You know, a nice color. Cognac. And you can even wear cognac with black if you're doing it the right way. So cognac or black, brown, these are your basic color shoes that you're going to need in your wardrobe. Um, I'm going to go off topic a little bit. Not really off topic, but um, I want to say that every man needs a nice watch. Nice watch. You don't have to go buy, you know, Rolex. If you got it like that, do it. I've had them. Hey. It's what you like. Everybody buy what you're comfortable with wearing. But the super big and big this and all that kind of stuff, it's not for dressing up. You know, I don't I don't buy stuff like that. Me personally. Um, but you can get a nice watch for a hundred bucks. Something nice. Not too too big. It, it starts to look corny when the watches get too big. You know, I, I say a, a nice watch size, millimeter size would be 40 millimeter, 40 millimeter to 45 millimeter, you know, 42 millimeter watch, two tone, you know, steel, gold, kind of however you want to do it. But every man needs a, a nice watch. And if you don't have a watch, I think you should um, start with a nice watch with a nice strap on it, a black strap or maybe a brown strap, leather, 
alligator. You can get them any kind of way. And that would um, go along with most of your wardrobes. There's nothing wrong with stainless. Just make sure that it's kind of a classy looking watch. It's not super big and stuff like that. Every man needs a, a decent, nice watch. It ain't good enough to say, I got the time on my phone. That ain't how we doing it. Get you a nice watch. I'll tell you one thing about what women like. I've been married 25 years, first of all. And I've dated and I've did all of this stuff out here. The first thing a woman looks at, she looks at your shoes. Okay? Then she look at your watch. And if those two things were decent, you on your way. Them two things. Now, your shoes got to be right now. When I say right, they can't be ran over and all of this kind of stuff. They got to be just decent shoes. You know, for me, the telltale sign when a shoe is gone bad is when the heel starts to wear. If you can see the heel worm, maybe in the front or the back, it's time to get some new shoes. And it's nice to, it's best to keep you a couple of pair of shoes, you know, in whatever color that you like, so you can alternate those and you won't have to wear them all the time. This is stuff you don't have to do all at once. You can take your time, you can start, you can take baby steps. You know, me, I've got a hundred pair of shoes. And now I ain't talking about tennis shoes. I got some tennis shoes too, but I got a hundred pair of shoes. And, um, but it took time to build that up. You know, I didn't buy them all at once. I got shoes that I done had for 15 years and I only put them on here and there. So they still look like they knew. That's another thing I want to point out. Take care of your stuff, guys. Take care of your clothes. You spend money on hard earned money, you work hard, hang your stuff up. If it needs to be dry clean, dry clean it. It's cheap to dry clean your stuff. You ain't got to worry about trying to wash it, messing it up. Let the, let the cleaning people do it. They're the experts at it. Take care of your stuff. I grew up in a house where my father was on me. At 12 years old, I had to come home and hang all my stuff up. My school clothes. Hang this up. Hang that. Everything had to be on the hanger. He was a military man, so... Everything had to be on the hanger and everything had to be buttoned up to the top on the hanger. Real talk. But all of that made me the man that I am today. All of those, you know, I don't want to hear this stuff, man. I just want to go outside and play with the boys and play some football. Yeah, that's good. But you go hang that stuff up first. So that's how I got brought up. And that's how I conduct and take care of myself and take care of my things to this day. I take it serious. Clothes cost a lot of money, especially the kind I like. I spend money. Everybody ain't got to do that, but I spend money. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about in a minute. What everybody needs to understand is that you guys out there, when you go somewhere, you represent yourself first, okay? You represent yourself, man. And if you got a lady or a guy, you representing them. Everybody want to be represented the right way. We all, when me and my wife go somewhere, we clean. My little saying, everybody should know by now, you know how we do. You know how we do. We ain't going to work half have have right when we go somewhere we trying to be the best looking people in there and i don't mean by looks like how you look cute all that not so cute i'm talking about but what you got on going in the door stunning that's what we do when we go somewhere everybody need to have some kind of way about they self. Like I always say, it's your calling card, man. It's your calling card. You. You can never make 
a second first impression. Your first impression is going to be the one that most people remember you by. So remember that when you're putting on your clothes, when you're saying, oh, I'm just going to just put these on. No, take the time and do it right. You never know who you can inspire or make want to feel better about themselves. That's important. I'm doing all of this. It ain't just for me. I already got the game. I already got the game. And if you don't know me, ask somebody who do. I just want to pass it and share the love and maybe be able to help somebody else. Because I've been doing this a long time. A long time. I'll tell you a quick story. I was modeling 20 years ago. And I was the oldest person in there. A lot of young people was in there. Females and males. And they, they couldn't stop me. I was like, every day I was wearing this, wearing that. They was like, we ain't even got to hardly tell you that much. It's like, that's because it was my upbringing. My mom, she was clean. My daddy, oh my God. Whew. Man, that man right there, he inspired me. He inspired me. And I'm telling you, when you got your stuff together, when you got your stuff together, man, that's important. That's very important. Very important. I was modeling, man. Them guys, they they ain't know what hit them. I'm coming in there. I'm 10 years, 15 years older than them. Getting all the jobs. I didn't did promotional modeling, different kinds of modeling. I could have took it somewhere if I really wanted to. They said, hey, you got the look to take this to Milan. You got the look to take this to Europe. It's because I was pulled together. That's the word that they describe me as. This guy is pulled together. He's pulled together. Everybody ain't going to have that. But what you can have is the basics on how to keep yourself straight. Like I tell people, it's nice to have sneakers. It's nice to um, wear sweatpants and stuff like that. I mean, for me, I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. You know, I learned when I was modeling. Um, one of my, um, uh, he was like an instructor. Um, but I went to a modeling school at first before I started modeling. Um, he say, a sweatpants are for sweating. That's what he told me. I never heard it like that. So, if, you know, I ain't sweating. If I'm working out at the gym, that's different. But when you're going somewhere, you're supposed to be representing yourself and sending the best representative of yourself to the table. Just little things I want to share with you guys. Okay. I'm going to um, show you another couple of pairs of shoes. Um, let me show you these first. Now, these are going to be more formal black shoes. Maganini is a brand. They run five, four-ish, hundred, something like that. If you're lucky, you might be able to find some in the threes. And this ain't for everybody, but this is what I'm talking about. You go somewhere. This is more formal, though. This is going to be like... um. The kind of shoe you put on with a tux or a blazer with a bow tie. You know, expensive stuff. Good quality. You can find Maganini's at, you know, um, Neiman's, Saks, places like that. It's a high-end brand. But, you know, 
That's mean. Yeah, I mean, even if you don't know nothing about clothes, you see a dude with some of these on, you're like, whoo, yeah, your shoe game got to be up. If you're going to call yourself a dresser, you got to get your shoe game up. That's where it starts. Always remember that. Shoes and up. Everything comes after the shoe. Magazine. And I'm going to show you here. Some of my nicest casual shoes. Um, these ain't for everybody. Um, but they was for me. I ain't even worn them yet. Okay, y'all? Um, I done had them over a year. I got a lot of stuff I ain't wore yet. It's crazy. I probably got 60, 60 outfits I ain't even put on yet. That's for another day, though. But... So, and if you really got your stuff tight and you really want to show, I mean, like I told you, the one thing about me, I'm going to be unique in how I do things. It's not going to be nobody in there like me. I'm telling you, I don't care where I go. Wherever I go, I'm going to stand out. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that's the kind of dude you're playing with right now. So, look. These are Mori. And anybody know anything about real shoes, you know about Mori alligator. Can't put them on with no suit. But you can put them on with a nice pair of jeans. You can put them on with a blazing a pair of jeans, a nice cashmere sweater, something like that. Yes, handmade. In Italy, 12 weeks to make the shoe. Yes. I, I don't play, y'all. You cannot go and buy these. You have to get them specially ordered. It takes 12 to 14 weeks. They make the shoe by hand in Italy. $1,000. $1,000. This ain't for the beginners. But this is just how I do And I say these things because I want you to know that you're talking to somebody who really know what he's talking about. Maury, man. I also wanted to mention that, um, you know, every man needs a cashmere sweater. Uh, you can start with black. Um, I have, like, you know, seven, eight different cashmere sweaters of different colors. But cashmere is a nice fabric. It's fine. It's soft. Um, they're not that cheap. You know, you might be able to find some cashmere stuff sweaters for about $100, but usually they run about, you know, $150 and up. You know, I got some that was like $250, stuff like that. You know, like I say, you just, um, most of them, you know, I like the V-neck ones. They have them around neck also. But they also go nice with a nice blazer, a nice pair of jeans, or a nice pair of slacks, and a nice pair of shoes. You know, I'm here to get you, get you together. Hey, you only get one you, right? Everybody, you know, you get one you. That's it. You, your calling card. When you go somewhere, somebody see you, represent yourself the best that you can. I ain't trying to tell everybody to be me. It's only one me, like it's only one you. But when it comes to having myself together, having my stuff together, man, I don't play around, for real. I'm serious about that. I don't play around. In high school, man, those those guys, they, they didn't know what hit them. I was 15, coming in wearing suspenders and Stacy Adams. You cast know in the back back in the day what them knobs look like. I'm talking to my older guys now. Suspenders, just everything. We was just hit. 
sweaters. We weren't doing stuff that 15 year olds do. We weren't dressing like that. We were dressing like grown men. That's, that's how we was doing it. And back then, women didn't mess with you unless you had your stuff together. You couldn't walk up on no, no chick with no ran down sneakers on. They ain't play that. You had to be clean, man. You had to be clean. This is what we do. I appreciate y'all. Love you. Hopefully, I touched a few, gave you a few pointers, a few tips. Thanks for tuning in to my show. Y'all have a great weekend. Love you. Peace.